uh, in this video we'll solve the problems on moment of force okay in the last video i explained what is the moment of force and uh, what is the formula for moment of force okay and uh, normally the formula for moment of force is if any uh, for example i'll give here uh, if the force is denoted like magnitude and the some direction if the force is having some magnitude and direction if you want to find out the moment at any point if you want to find out the moment at any point due to this force then just you need to draw the perpendicular distance how much is there and you need to find out the perpendicular distance okay then the moment of this force moment of this force about this point o is whatever the magnitude of force is there suppose p is force p is force magnitude of force and its perpendicular distance about where the moment is required that is perpendicular distance is if this is l that is l here okay and the that is p into force into perpendicular distance okay and its unit is newton meter or newton because the unit of force is newton unit of length is meter okay newton meter or newton mm also or kilo newton mm kilo newton meter kilo newton kilometer okay like that it it's totally product of force into perpendicular distance force into perpendicular uh, also i derived the formula i derived the formula in the previous video just check uh, the video related to moment of force here okay the now the first problem is just i explained here just i'll read a force of 15 newton 15 newton is applied is applied perpendicular to the edge of the door 0.8 meter wide you have one door is there <coughs> it's 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 width is it's width is 0.8 meter okay this is the hinge suppose consider this is the door this is the hinge and its width is 0.8 meter and a force of 15 newton is applied at the edge of the door this is the edge of the door it is applied as shown in figure a this is the figure a find the moment of the force about the hinge you need to find the moment of the force about hinge about the hinge here where is the hinge point hinge point is o hinge point is o okay this is the figure this is the door door its hinge point is o and its the door width is 0.8 meter and at the edge of the door a force is applied 15 newton 15 newton it is applied here okay so what he is asking you need to find the moment you need to moment you need to find the moment due to this 15 newton at the hinge at the hinge hinge means at point o okay this is the problem he is given uh, first we'll solve for figure a uh, this is for this problem later i'll explain if you want just i'll explain here if this force is applied at an angle of 60 degree to the edge the same uh, the same door same width okay the hinge is at o but the load application is it is 15 newton it is at an angle of 60 degree it is an, at an angle of 60 degree to the edge to the edge of the same door uh, shown in figure b shown in figure b then find the moment of the force there are two cases here you need to find out the moment of the of these forces about the hinges first we'll go for figure a solution for figure a for figure a okay what is the data given once again I'll, i'll i'll read a force of 15 newton that is force i denoted that is p equal to 15 newton data is given 15 newton is applied perpendicular to the edge of the door this is the edge to the edge of the door 0.8 meter width 0.8 meter wide wide means it is length that is l equal to 0.8 meter l equal to 0.8 meter wide as shown in figure find the moment of the force find the moment of the force moment of the force about the hinge about the hinge that is you want the moment about o that is at o equal to how much o equal to how much okay by the formula of the moment we know that that is m equal to moment equal to force into perpendicular distance that is force into perpendicular distance perpendicular distance 
about the point where we need moment where we need moment right okay now m equal to what is the force applied here that is 15 that is p this is p into perpendicular distance about the point perpendicular distance is 0.8 meter about the point where we need the moment that is this is perpendicular distance that is l that is l this is l this will be equal to what is the force applied here that is 15 into l is 0.8 meter 0.8 meter what is the unit 15 is newton 0.8 meter newton meter okay if you calculate this one 15 into 0.8 it will be 12 newton meter 12 newton meter that is moment moment about o did you get the point only you need to where you want just multiply uh, force multiply by perpendicular distance force multiply by perpendicular distance this is the first figure for first figure your moment is 12 newton meter about hinge about hinge now go for figure 2 figure b now we will consider this problem here okay for figure b for figure b now i'll read once again if this force now consider this one if this force is applied at an angle of 60 degree to the edge this is not exactly vertical this is not exactly vertical it is at an angle of 60 degree uh, to the edge then what will be the moment here for moment always as you know that that is moment equal to force into perpendicular distance but this force is not uh, the exactly vertical exactly vertical it is at an angle of 60 degree first you split there are two methods are there one is the resolution method you need to split the 15 newton into horizontal and vertical component vertical component that is the first method of solving the problem in the second method you just go for go draw this one continue and draw the perpendicular distance okay you can find out this you need to calculate this perpendicular distance perpendicular distance if you find out once perpendicular distance easily force into perpendicular distance. this force is like this its perpendicular distance is like this so then apply the moment moment equal to force into perpendicular distance that is the second method okay first i'll tell by using the split uh, resolution method by use resolution method use resolution method okay you need to split this first resolve into horizontal and vertical component just i'm resolving here this is 15 newton okay and what is the angle here this is 60 degree this is 60 degree now you need to split this 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 15 into uh, this 15 uh, newton into horizontal and vertical component just i'm splitting or this is horizontal this is vertical how the arrow direction i explained in the previous video the arrow direction is if like this it is there just come here come here because these two add addition of this one same on the uh, diagonal here okay this is the arrow mark now if this is the 60 here 60 what is this component here that is this is sine component right because sine 60 equal to opposite opposite side divided by hypotenuse if you want i'll write here that is sine 60 equal to opposite side that is this is o a b means uh, opposite means a b by a o right a b by a o you want a b right therefore a b equal to a b equal to sine 60 into a o into a o into a o what is a o this will be equal to a o is nothing but 15 15 sine 60 15 sine 60 that is a b this is a b okay similarly how about the uh, cos 60 cos 60 equal to adjacent side adjacent side is o b o b divided by hypotenuse is o a o a okay uh, you want o b that is o b equal to o a into cos 60 right o a is how much o a is 15 newton you have the magnitude here 15 into cos 60 
okay so this is the horizontal component ob this is the horizontal component this is the vertical component so i will write the this component is 15 sin 60 this is 15 sin 60 and this is 15 cos 60 cos 60 okay now you have split it this 15 Newton into horizontal and vertical components along with the directions. Now you want this component, vertical component, because the you have split this into vertical component. Uh, this is 15 sin 60, this into perpendicular distance. That is the moment. Therefore, moment that will be equal to m about O. About O equal to force into perpendicular distance, P into perpendicular distance. Okay. P into perpendicular. What is perpendicular distance here? L equal to how much? Uh, sorry, uh, P is how much here? That is, this is the force. P is, therefore, P is 15 sin 60, right? This is exactly vertical. You, you should not consider horizontal component. You consider only vertical because vertical, same here. Vertical into perpendicular distance. Therefore, vertical component P is 15 sin 60. This will be equal to 15 sin 60 multiply by if you this comes here 15 sin 60 into perpendicular distance is 0.8 same it is 0.8 okay now this is uh, ten point four newton this is ten point four newton that is moment about o okay so this is one first one method you need to split the given force into horizontal and vertical you need to resolve given the force into horizontal and vertical component then use the vertical component into perpendicular distance you will get the 10.4 newton here now one more method you, you need to get the second method is you need to uh, find out the perpendicular distance just i'll uh, tell second method here how to uh, calculate but you will get the same answer. But you will get the same answer. Method 2 for this one for method 2. Okay. Now I will draw the same diagram here. This is your 15 Newton. And it is 60 degree. Right. This is 60 degree. This is O. And this is point A. And this distance is 0.8 meter. 0.8 meter. Okay. Now you just extend this force here. I draw exactly perpendicular because we want the this force is like acting like this. I want the perpendicular distance here. Just draw this as exactly perpendicular. This is 90 degree. Okay. This is 90 degree. So this is O, A and this will be C here. You know this AC that is force it is 15 Newton. Now you need to calculate the uh, perpendicular distance AC uh, the OC because if you calculate once OC then you can easily apply here. That is once again I will write moment about O from figure moment about O is equal to force is force that is force into perpendicular distance is perpendicular distance this will be equal to force is that is p already it is there perpendicular distance is oc but you don't know oc now you should calculate oc how you calculate oc here that is uh, now this is uh, if this is 60 this is also 60 right this is also 60 degree same here okay this is 60 this is also 60 this is already you know this is 90 degree this is 90 degree right now what is the remaining angle here 90 plus 60 150 remaining is 30 degree here this is 30 degree this is 30 total 180 degree this is 60 means here also 60 it will comes this already 90 is there 90 plus 60 150 and this is 30 is uh, 180 okay now 
you can use any uh, formula here right okay that is if this is 90 first i will use the 60 60 component 60 degree component from figure sin 60 is how much sin 60 sin 60 is opposite opposite side is oc divided by hypotenuse which one is hypotenuse oa not ac because these two are perpendicular lines you should not consider ac okay 60 opposite is opposite side is oc therefore opposite side divided by hypotenuse hypotenuse is oa o a okay therefore uh, you know oa this is sin 60 equal to oc divided by oa is 0 0.8 0 0.8 meter okay 0 0.8 meter therefore oc i am getting is if you multiply if you multiply 0 0.8 into sin 60 that is oc is 0 0.693 meter 0 0.693 meter this is OC. Okay, I got. Now, if you, you can, you got OC. Now apply here. That is force equal to perpendicular. Now come to per, moment here. Moment equal to force into perpendicular. And force is how much is there? This is the force. Fifteen into perpendicular distance is OC. OC is how much? That is point six nine three. This will be equal to ten point four. Again same. 10.4 Newton that is moment about O okay whatever you got the previous method by resolving horizontal and component horizontal and vertical component at that time you got 10.4 right but now also uh, you got 10.4 Newton so you can use any one method okay any one method either resolving or you can apply the the angles and find the perpendicular distance then you can calculate here okay this is how the second problem Okay?